Junior Kickboxing English title. Jaden Holland Revolution in the red corner wearing the red headguard. Harry Coley Grimsby strike in the blue. Ring Clash 7 title bout. The fancier red and black pants are for Holland. The taller Coley in the more traditional. And they meet immediately in the centre of the ring. Round kick high from Coley. Holland fires back. Very fast paced start. Well supported these two young men. Especially Coley here. He steps forward with the jab cross. But Holland meets him in the middle. They're young. They should be fit and able to keep this pace up. Full of the energy of youth. And showing here with a very fast paced start. And I love the fact that all the boxing combinations have the feet thrown at the end as well. Traditional kickboxing, well schooled. Oh, the head of Coley snapped back. They both jabbed at the same time, but Holland's jab visibly rocked Coley's head back. Nice turn though from Coley. And you can see these two young men are well schooled. Good footwork. Beautiful kicks, hands and feet together. Fast pace, nice movement. Oh, beautiful head kick from Goalie there. What an opening round. Excellent junior stuff this for the English title. Now oh, mate, Tony T-Bone putting on a great show here. And a well-matched title fight here on his Ring Clash 7. Look at this, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, beautiful work. Nice combinations. And even though Cody's backing up, he's busy as well. That's a great first round from these two. Excellent to watch. One down, four to go. The English title bell at stake. Both had their moments as well. Both had the successes. The left hand of Holland, the right leg of Coley, and here they go again. Both beginning to dig here. They've planted their feet, and there's venom in these shots, hands and feet. Holland forcing forward, but what I like is Coley is very accurate and busy on the back foot, which makes this the perfect match. They're not having to be pulled apart very often. I mean, Gar's doing it now, but a lot of the time they're letting these techniques flow just like this. And for the first time, Coley little dip there and holds on. Oh, and then throws a beautiful left hook as Holland comes flying back in. Then the jab. Holland now pushes forward. Ducks underneath the shot there, Coley. They turn. Looks for the big right hand. Holland stays in the pocket. Looks for the body shots as they get close. Swings hard and heavy there, but just misses the target. Coley pushes him with the jab, then ducks under the response, but double, triple jab. Right hand from Holland. He throws the kick, they turn, their foot looks good. They come off the centre line, just as Coley did there to throw the left hook and do it again. And then when he comes close, Holland looks to work on the inside. Beautifully poises, straight right hand from Coley. The left from Holland lands in replies, but that's all about. Steps into the pocket there, Holland. Both throw the kick at the same time. Doubles up. This is good work from Coley at the end of the round. Good combination work here. Even though he's on the back foot, the combination's flew. That was a big finish to the round for me, for Coley in the blue. Two down, the midway point, round three next. touch gloves Coley with the round kick Holland steps forward Coley on the turn landing cleanly with that jab the slightly taller of the two young men making the best of that jab in the cross there and you could see the jab cross snap the head back so even though Holland's working as well and he is working hard when you're a judge and you see the head snapping back like that it can't help but impress you it can't help but make you think this is the guy that's getting through with the cleaner work in fact Jaden Holland is working really hard as well but when you see those straight shots coming through from Harry Coley and the head snapping back, it does influence you. It influences me. Just like that. So Jaden Holland, he's walking forward the whole time. But Coley is accurate on the back foot. He's comfortable on the back foot. Some fighters prefer to fight that way. Chris Eubank, the world champion boxer, was a perfect example of someone who was much happier when his opponent was trying to put him under pressure. I felt he actually struggled when he was asked to go forward against a negative fighter.
But here you've got the perfect match. You've got Jaden Holland who loves to come forward, all action. And Harry Coley, happy on the counter, happy to throw on the way back. And as I said, the tempo, not a problem for these two young men. And they both throw again at the same time. And no matter what lands on him, Holland stays in the pocket, stays coming forward. Coley throws the big round kick high again, ducks under the response. Little uppercut there, and again, you saw Holland's head snap back. It's little things like that that can make the difference in a very close tight fight. I'm loving this one, a great English title fight. All credit to Mr T-Bone for putting this one on. It's on round four. And straight back in again as they have in the previous three rounds. Real treat for the audience here tonight, this one. And I love the fact that in defence, Coley's double-handed like this. And the round kick on the end. He's making Holland work for every success as he comes forward. And Holland continues to come forward. Two warriors here. And neither shown a sign of being hurt or wanting to quit. If they've been tagged, they've just got on with it. Just like this again. Coley pushes Holland away, pushes forward for the first time. But Holland looks to push him back straight away again. So you've got the front foot aggression of Holland against the slick countering of Coley. This is what they're trying to impress the judges with. This is the clash of styles that's working perfectly for this English title man. Do you go for the front or the back foot fighter? The right hand off the front foot fighter, Holland lands, backs Coley up. Then he steps off the line and throws his own left Coley in defence. Little uppercut there on the inside from Holland, replied by Coley. Four rounds down and the pace hasn't slowed, the quality hasn't dropped either from these two. Still snappy, still accurate. That shows good schooling, that shows two good corners, that shows two good fight counts, as it should be. Excellent work from both again, and I know the talk is of traditional kickboxing dying out, but when you've got two youngsters like this, it keeps it alive, it keeps it exciting, and shows that traditional kickboxing still has a place. And that's what I love about these two youngsters, they're showing us this as they come into the fifth and final round. Garth Porter had very little to do in this one. And here they go. They've stepped up the pace, if that's possible. And look at the shots, little hooks, little uppercuts on the inside. The round kicks. They've, if anything, as I said, the pace has increased. Nice combinations there again from Coley. Holland on the front foot. Little uppercuts on the inside. Little hooks on the inside. No matter what's thrown at him, no matter how many times Coley's legs land, even if it's to the head, he pushes forward. He takes that extra step in. Doesn't let it affect him, but Coley working hard with him as well. Round kick, left hand, left and right from Coley, putting everything into it as he pushes forward. Spins just out of range, Holland. Coley throws the right kick, spins himself, then the left and right. Little sections like this where Coley will throw a combination. A 4-5-6 technique, snaps the head back of Holland again. It's moments like this that has me off the fence. Across the five rounds, I feel moments like you saw then from Coley have happened at key moments in this bout. It's, it's my opinion, it's for entertainment purposes. Three judges at ringside will make this decision. But for me, if I'm coming off the fence, although I say that, a great right hand from Holland. And that's what he does. He never stops coming forward. And continues to do so. So, a little uppercut again from Holland. Coley steps forward again. There's the bell. They know they've been in a good bag. But if I'm going to come off the fence and go just one way or the other, I'm going Coley in the blue corner. I think it's the right decision in a very close bout. But two talented young men and an excellent bout and a real advert for traditional above-the-waist kickboxing. Both men should be so proud.